That's big. Run! You want it? That's you, boy. Rock, paper, scissors. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Right now we are about 90 miles offshore and we are currently sitting in about 1,500 feet of water. We're out here with Blake from Fanatical Charters on his almost 40 foot boat. This thing is probably the nicest boat that I've ever been on. The weatherman once again has lied to us was calling for one foot seas about every five seconds and we're dealing with probably three to four footers every second and a half but it ain't so bad you look at old red beard over here he's just lounging you know he's taking a little nap oh blake's getting us all set up he's getting the rods out back we're gonna start trolling we're going for some wahoo some tuna maybe selfish you know whatever's gonna bite out here marlin marlin he said he guaranteed at least three marlin this Guar time. guaranteed so blake hit us up Said, hey, you guys want to come out, do a little deep sea trolling? And of course we said, uh, yeah, of course we do. If we can't get anything on the troll, or if we get tired of trolling, we're going to pull up some of them really cool fish from the bottom. You guys stick around. We're going to do some cool stuff today. That's big. Run. You want it? It's up to you, boy. Rock, paper, scissors. We're, we're doubling up. We're doubling up. We're doubling up. We're doubling up. I guess we're both going. <laughs> Oh, you want me to keep rolling it? Yeah. Alright guys, Mike's on, I'm on maybe. We don't know if this one came off or not, but this one's got a deep diver on it. So it's going to take a minute to reel him in. Oh, he just spit it I think. Dang it, I just lost him. I think so. He just came off. All right, guys. Mine just popped off right at the surface. Mike's still pulling his in. Oh, little wahoo. Yo, let's go. Nice. Maybe we'll get him more here in a second. I'm not talking about it! Oh yeah. I'm down to three. It looks good. Get a button keep running. Take it straight, take it straight. You want me to let him keep running? All right, guys. Try not to let this one go this time. Huh? It was taking drag. Yeah, he's taking drag. You still feel it? 
I don't know. It's hard to tell, ain't it? It's still taking longer than you have. Oh. Oh. You're really at it pretty easy now. Yeah. Yeah. He's still on there. He's still on there? Yeah, there's something pulling. I well, I felt like he was tugging. It could be the lure, but there was a couple of thumps. Oh yeah, he's thumping. He said it's still on there. False alarm, guys. Fish is still on. All right, pick that up. I see color, what is it? Got me a little black fin. Came all the way out here for a black fin. Yeah, I got a tuna. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys just love me. Good job, bro. Yeah. Be $20 for the footage. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, it's on board, bro. Alright, fellas. Blackfin tuna in the boat. He's pretty nice. We're gonna bleed this guy out and get him on ice. Alright guys, we're on our way back in, but we decided to stop at a place called the pipeline. We're gonna do a little deep drop. They ain't over yet, fellas. We're gonna get some more fish. Yeah, but you know what kind of fish? What kind of fish? A Red beard. Fish. A towel fish. You know what a towel fish is? It's got towels on it. I have no idea, but I'm gonna find out. In just yeah. a second. Find him fall off this boat. We're uh, quitting trolling for a little bit. We keep marking a big school of tuna down about 200 feet. So we're gonna take this little jigging rod, 200 gram, and we're gonna go down 200 feet. We're gonna see if we can't pull one of these little, these little black fin up. Should yeah. be fun. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There we go, I got him. Oh, sh no, he came off. No, huh? he might still be on. He's a little, yeah, he's a little. Got him, come on. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a bar jack. A little bar jack. Well, that was fun. I hear it. You said that, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, that's gonna do it. We're gonna head back in. Got a tuna, Red Beer got a Wahoo. I had a Wahoo, it got off. It is what it is. I'm gonna sit up here in this little lounger and I'm gonna enjoy myself on my way back in. I'm gonna take myself a little nap because I was up at two o'clock this morning to come bring you guys this footage. And uh, we're gonna head home. I'm gonna show you guys how to take this tuna and I turn it into a sashimi. So you guys stick around, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna do a little catch and cook. We're back at the house. What an awesome day on the water with Fanatical Charters. We, man, we stayed out there all day. We got home, it's dark as you guys can see. And now I have to take this fish. I'm gonna show you guys how I fillet it. I've already got it gutted and I got the head taken off. And I'm gonna fillet it out, show you guys how I do that. I'm gonna show you guys how I cook it on the Blackstone. And I'm telling you, when I say cook it on the Blackstone, I mean just sear it, like sear it on both sides. And then that sucker's done. But we also have a little bit of old Redbeard's Wahoo. The people say that Wahoo's the best tasting fish in the ocean. And uh, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. So I'll be the judge of that, you guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you've had a Wahoo before and if you had other fish before, what is better, Wahoo or the other fish that you had? But everybody says Wahoo it is, so we're gonna see. Anyways, let's get to cooking. We got our tuna. We got our Dexter blade. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a slit right down here at the bottom of his tail. And then I'm going to follow his spine all the way up on the belly side as well on the spine side, the top of the fish. Look at this thing in here. And you'll feel that once you get to that backbone, you'll feel it. We're gonna do the same thing on the top side. Hopefully that ain't shaking that footage too much. Stabilize, stable, stabilize you guys out a little bit. So it's real simple cuts. Just follow that spine. And you'll know when you get to the end, because you hear that. It's like a, just let you know that you're hitting it. Now, you could just take this whole thing off at the spine. But since we're going to be making big fillets out of here, we're just going to come in here, come right to where this lateral line is. We're just going to make a slit down it. And that will theoretically release our whole top half of our fish. There you go. There's one top fillet. And then same thing with the bottom. It's already pretty much taken off. Let's make that final cut. And the stuff that you see me leaving in the middle, that's all the bloodline anyway, so that's not really good meat that you want to eat anyways. That's what makes you have that real fishy taste of fish. All right now for our top fillet, we're going to come in here. And I don't know if you can see this on footage. There's this darker spot of fish, and that's all the bloodline. So that's what we're going to cut out. What you should be left with is just a nice piece of pink meat, pinkish red. You don't really want this dark red stuff. I'm going to cut off a little bit of this pink stuff and the dark stuff to try to show you a comparison. Let's see if that shows up. So you see this dark stuff? It's all bloodline. Makes your fish taste fishy. This is the good meat, the good pink tuna meat. And that's what you want to keep. As close to the skin as we can get. And we'll just take it down. Now for our chunks, our filet chunks, I'm just gonna make them about an inch and inch and a half. I'm gonna take a couple pieces. I'm gonna cut it up real nice and thin. This helps if your fish is cold, and if you have a really sharp knife. You get some real thin slices. 
All right, we got our grill fired up. We got some avocado oil. And this grill has been going for a little while, so it's been pretty warm. I got it turned down just a little bit and put on some avocado oil. You know it's hot when your oil just kind of moves around. Now for our tuna chunks that we made, these big fat ones, we set those on. Let's listen to it sear. Like I said, this is a sear really more than a cook. So we're gonna put these on for not very long. I mean, maybe, maybe 30 seconds inside. And I really like cooking with that av avocado oil. Kind of gives it a, a nice little hint of a flavor of avocado. It's, for some reason, that avocado oil just tastes better to me than normal peanut oil or any other kind of cooking oil. So there we go. Those guys are done. You cook them on longer, depending on what your flavor is for seafood. A lot of people don't like raw seafood. And had this been store-bought tuna, I definitely wouldn't do that. But considering I just took this out of the ocean, I know where it's been. I'm not afraid to, to cook it a little bit. The Wahoo, same thing. Make sure you get all the bloodline off of it. Take some of that oil, kind of move it around. This stuff is probably burned a little bit, so I'm gonna turn this to the side and then give it some fresh oil out there. You can use butter too. Butter is a good substitute. But like I said, I like the way that this avocado oil cooks. Throw that on there. I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna set it right there in that oil. And for my seasonings on fish, I don't do anything fancy. I do a little bit of garlic. A little bit of pepper, maybe a lot of bit of pepper. I like pepper. These grinders, you can make it, make it a little more coarse. Throw that on there, and then salt. Just a dab of salt, nothing crazy. And get that cooking. And again, you don't have to cook it for very long. Personally, I think people cook their fish too long. I like my fish still a little bit, I don't know, fish on the inside. I don't want like all flaky, flaky fish. I want my fish kind of, I don't know, meaty. So you guys let me know in the comments below, do you guys like your fish flaky and cooked all the way? Or do you like it to have a little pink or a little, a little fish texture when you bite into it? That's where I am. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. That's, that's just the way I like it. So this fish is almost done and we're gonna get on the plate and we're gonna give it a taste. But I probably won't taste it like in front of you because there's a lot of people that take a bite of their food on camera and like, mm, this is great. Uh, that's not me. I don't, I don't think I wanna do that. But I will tell you down in the description how it is. What we have here is you have some tuna, you have some wahoo, then we also have some raw tuna, some sushi, got my soy sauce and i would normally have some wasabi but apparently down here in navarre florida you can't find wasabi anywhere at least i couldn't so i'm gonna take my wasabi 
And first things first, those nice thin sliced pieces of tuna. Give that a little bit of a little bit of soy sauce. Dang. Just like every other video, people say, dang, that's good. But raw tuna, probably one of the best things to eat. Now, for the cooked tuna, which is still pink in the middle. You guys see that? Pink in the middle. A little seared on the outside. A little bit of soy sauce. Gives it a whole different taste. You would think that it tastes like the sushi, but it doesn't. That avocado oil in there. You get that seared texture. You get that soy sauce. Mm, it's like it's like magic. It's like take it from the Gulf, put it in my mouth, make me say, oh, it's like magic, and then into my belly. And it's delicious. All right, so like I said earlier, a lot of people say that Wahoo is the best tasting fish in the ocean. But right now I'm comparing it to tuna. It's not bluefin tuna. It's not yellowfin tuna. But it's a tuna. Now you can see this one. There's still some fishy meat texture in there. That's what I like. A little bit of soy sauce. Never hurt nobody. It's a really good, really good fish. I mean, it's white. It's white meat. It's flaky. Doesn't have a fish taste at all. Like no after after taste. I like the consistency of the of the meat. It's wow. Wahoo just might be the best tasting fish in the ocean. Let me see if I can cut this open in the middle so I can show you guys what I'm talking about with that. See how it's kind of hard to pull apart? It's because you, you don't cook it all the way. Dang. I told you I wasn't going to eat on camera. But this is so good. I got to show you guys how I eat it. I mean, you just take the fish and you say, ah. It's so good. Hmm. For real though. So blackfin tuna and wahoo are both really good tasting fish. And when you put them on the blackstone with that avocado oil, I mean, you ain't got to go like all fancy with a bunch of seasonings and stuff. Like, you don't got to get all crazy with it. Salt, pepper, and garlic on that wahoo. My tuna, I don't do anything. You just put that avocado on, sear it, 30 seconds per side. A little bit less, a little bit more. It's up to you. Leave it a little pink in the middle. And, uh, that's good. For the sushi, just cut thin slices. I mean, I'm talking, you know, thin, thin. And you're good to go on those ones. That's pretty good fish. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget, look up Finical Charters out of Destin. He's got an awesome boat, 34-foot center console boat. That thing took us out 90 miles, and it got us out there pretty fast, too. I mean, we were doing about 40 miles an hour, or 40 knots, the whole way, 40, 45 knots. And we got out there pretty fast. So you guys look up Blake from Fanatical Charters, and I, I promise you, he's going to put you on some fish. I mean, he tried his hardest, too, to make sure that we were on fish. It took us a little bit to find him. You know, it's fishing, but, I mean, he wasn't willing to quit. Like, we went to so many different fads, ended up finding a couple Wahoo, one broke off, ended up finding that tuna, and he still, you know, he was like, nope, we got to get you guys some more fish. So then we went over and did some deep, deep drops, and we found some other marks around one of the fads. So we were jigging those things up, and we got a couple more fish that way. I mean, he, he definitely goes all out to help you guys find your fish. So, I, I mean, I can't tell you guys enough on how cool his boat is, one, and how awesome of a guide he is to take you out and, like, really make sure that you get on fish. So, Fanatical Charters 
I'm going to leave his link down in the bio. You guys, don't forget, go give him a like. Give him a subscribe. I mean, he's got a YouTube channel. Check him out on YouTube. See some more some of the stuff that he's doing. Just follow his page, man. I'm, I mean, just looking at other people's fish, and then you'll be like, oh, dang, I want to go do that. Um, he, he's out of Destin, so he's out of the Destin Pass. And if you guys watch my scuba diving videos, you know that there's a whole crap ton of wrecks out there that you guys can go out on and, and find fish at. So make sure you guys go do it. I mean, it's great. Anyways, that's enough jibber-jabbering. I'm going to eat some more of this fish. Don't forget... Hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave me a comment down below, let me know if you guys like this type of content, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.